AI will become what the internet is today from what it was 20, 30 years ago. It's ubiquitous, it's everywhere, and it will be life-changing. When a bloke in boardies and sandals, working from his home office in Colombo, Sri Lanka, can tell me and predict what I'm going to buy in my local Woolies, that's when we know the world has changed. When you read the analysis that the AI has given you, it's given you guidance. And that's what it is, it's guidance for you as a human to make an intelligent decision and an informed decision. So it's not making the AI the end wall, but a source of information to help you make a qualitative decision. At OpenText, we also believe, our philosophy is that we got to bring AI to data, not feed your data up to AI. Aviator will go and read that information that you already have in your organizations and give you a, a document summary of it. One of the things that, that I've heard over, over a period of time with AI is the issue around unconscious bias or bias making its way yeah. into, into the, the, the models that you build. And, and that's, I think, a, a big challenge organizations have is how do you control that bias to make sure it doesn't become inherent in the, in, in the way that you use tools. Generative AI is helping us to make sure that we can allow any end user to have the insights in the shape and form that they want. Don't wait for things to be perfect. Don't wait for all your ducks to line up in a row. Don't wait until you're not busy to start implementing these ideas. Start before you're ready, because the world won't wait for you. That's the best way to leverage AI, and it's the best way to be fit for the future.